the Bulls have passed their rivals in the East. They have their sights set on the West. Isaiah Ryder and the Blazers dealt the Bulls a setback on Wednesday, but we'll see who the real Kings are tonight. The top prize at each year's trading deadline is Mitch Richmond. And yet once again, Mitch is still a king. Sacramento can't seem to find the right package for the league's number three score and an annual All-Star. Another great game within a game. Mitch versus Michael. Bulls and Kings next. Saturday night basketball at the United Center in Chicago. Tonight, the Sacramento Kings pay a visit to the world champion Chicago Bulls. Hi, everybody. I'm Wayne Larrabee. Welcome to Bulls Basketball on WGN. It's great to have you with us. Well, the Bulls, an improbable loser at home here Wednesday night to the Portland Trailblazers, had their eight-game winning streak snap. They'll try to start anew here tonight against the visiting Kings. Pleasure to have alongside Johnny Red Kirk. Red, the thing I like about this game is the matchup within the game. Two of the leading scorers in the NBA on hand here. Well, you're right. You talk about Michael Jordan and Mitch Richmond. You know, when you look at the, uh, the scorers this year leading the league, there's only Carl Malone that separates the two of them. They have been terrific. Matter of fact, 14 times these two guys have played against each other. Mitch's team only wins twice. Michael's team wins 12, but they've got some great, great uh, individual statistics to put up. And the thing that Michael has to worry about tonight is that Mitch Richmond can play defense. Yeah, absolutely. And again, the, the other factor is this. These two guys will play each other on both ends of the floor. All right, we've got the Kings and Bulls. Luke Longley questionable for tonight's ball game. So is Randy Brown with injuries. We'll elaborate coming up after the spotlight.